Three days later, and Washington State finally has its senator. Incumbent Democratic Patty Murray survived a tough re-election fight. That's a winning woman candidate, which was something of an exception in this election. This could have been the big headline Wednesday morning. Year of the woman! After all, a record roster of women filed to, filed to run, 36 in the Senate and 262 in the House, and some of the most high-profile candidates out there were women. Yet, as we know... That was a fun sound effect. All right, from Christine O'Donnell to Sharon Angle, Meg Whitman to Linda McMahon, one by one they fell, in most cases to old white men. So did they lose because they were bad candidates, because they were in the wrong party, or could it be that women voters are tougher on women candidates? That's an interesting question, and we're bringing it down with Gloria Felt, former president of Planned Parenthood and a women's rights activist, and author of the book, No Excuses. And Crystal Ball, a congressional candidate whose bid for a House seat fell short on Tuesday. Crystal, let me start with you because you were in, in, right in the middle of it. Uh, so what happened in your race? What do you think uh, went wrong? Um, my race had had much less to do with being a woman and much more to do with being a Democrat in a tough district in a tough year. You know, we really felt that we ran an excellent campaign. Um, we brought out our core constituency groups. We've yet to analyze the numbers, but I think women did come to us, but the other side was just so energized this year, there was nothing we could do co to combat it. All right, well, l let me ask you then, uh, most of the Republican women actually, I'm sorry, most of the women running were actually on the Republican side in, in terms of the high-profile Senate candidates, right? W is the Republican Party doing something right in attracting more female candidates, at least lately? Well, I think that the progressive women opened the doors, and now these conservative women are just crashing right on through them. And, and, and they have less experience with running, to be perfectly honest with you. I think many of these women are going to be back, and we shouldn't think that they were defeated this year. Uh, they, they simply lost one election. My guess is that many of them will be back in the future, and they'll be stronger candidates as a result of it, and that's why the progressives had better be really on their toes, and they had better be cultivating their progressive women. Now, Gloria, there is a great irony and a lot of these people saying, oh, feminism. Like, they forget that it was not that long ago where women didn't even have the right to vote, <laughs> right. and feminists got them that right, which they now bash, right? Uh, but but that goes towards the point of, wait, are they in the wrong party? Like, w would they stand a better chance of winning if they were Democrats? Uh, and, of course, it's not a guarantee by any shot, or, but... But as Republicans, are they not appealing to a lot of those women voters? You know, I have to say that I think the most important thing is for people to run on the platform that they feel most passionate about. And what I think is missing, and I think the tectonic plates have really shifted for women in politics this year. I, I, I've never seen anything quite like it. Um, what, what has shifted is that progressive women uh, are the ones who are, who are not being cultivated and who are not running in the numbers that they should be running in. And I think that's what we really need to be looking at. Yeah, yeah. Crystal, let me go to you on that. I mean... That's a good question. And let me show you some numbers first. The women's vote, for example, in 06 was 43 to 55 percent in favor of the Democrats. So that's a big number in favor of the Democrats. But in 2010, it flipped. And look at that. Republicans winning 49 to 48. That, that's kind of amazing. So what went wrong there uh, for the Democratic Party? Is, and, and how did they lose that uh, women's vote? Well, I think there are a couple of things. You know, this is a time when the economy is still the number one issue and there's a lot of uncertainty. Women tend to be very concerned with those pocketbook issues. And I think, quite frankly, the Republican Party had a, a stronger message and were more disciplined in that message about how we're going to fight to get the economy back on track. That's unfortunate because Democrats should be the stronger party on the economy. The other thing I wanted to mention to you, I think there is somewhat of a Sarah, Sarah Palin effect. You know, I've said, even though I am a progressive woman and I disagree with her on many policies, she was very influential in getting me to run simply because I saw her on stage with her young family running for vice president and I thought, you know what, I could do this. I think there are a lot of women on the right who felt that same way and, and really that's why they decided to step up and run please, in part. Please, please don't tell me you're a mama grizzly. <laughs> okay, all right. I am not a mommy grizzly, but okay. I am a mom. Okay, all right. now, one thing here, I, I think we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge that there was a lack of leadership from the top. And I think a lot of what women were running away from was what the rest of the electorate was running away yes. from, which is they are so discouraged about the president's lack of 
of just getting out there and saying, this is what I believe. This is, I mean, you know, that lack of moral certitude sends, sends voters away from, no, from that's leadership. A, no question about that. That's an overall Democratic problem. It, it hurt Crystal in her race. It hurt Alan Grayson in his race. I talked to him about it. He made the same exact point yesterday on air. But let me ask you about women. You know, to go to your earlier point, should they run more unabashedly as women? Because right now, the, well, a lot of female candidates, like, they'll come out.